I applaud that record. Not only did it go gold, thank you for that, yes. But this is, the end was the end of Johnny Cash's career. He had been dropped by Columbia Records and, uh, you know, left to put out the motherfucking pasture, you know? And I feel that collectively, is before the Rick Rubin records and all in his comeback, I believe that collectively we all contributed into bringing him a comeback, which, what a way to go out.
your name, ma'am? My name is Nisi. How old are you? Ten. Oh. What's your name? Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. How old are you? Good. How old are you? I'm looking out at the crowd, I see a lot of, you know, 20-year-olds, 30-year-olds, 40-year-olds, 50, 60, maybe even 70. That makes me very happy, of course. The following was supposed to be for a long time. Dedicated, committed, I appreciate it. Yes. It also makes me very happy to see a, a whole other generation of kids. Yeah! I know it's summertime right now. I know school's the last thing on your mind, but in a way, you're kind of in class right now. Ain't that right? <laughs> Listen, you're going to go back to school in September. There's a couple things I want you to pay attention to. There's a couple things I want definitely don't want you to pay attention to. Uh, you gotta learn to read and write. You gotta learn English and spelling and all that. Ain't that right? Maybe you wanna be a writer someday or you gotta write a love letter to your girl. Ain't that right? Well, by the way, what do you wanna do when you grow up? What you're doing? Oh, good. Track. What you want to do when you grow up? Be a veterinarian. Oh. Good. I got five dogs. Yeah. What about you, Jenner? What? What you want to do when you grow up? I want to be just like you, too. Sweet. <laughs> and what about you, Helen? Pediatrician. Yeah, doctor, yes. Yeah. And you? Just like you. Right. Hey, baby girl, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, teacher? Yes! Yeah. I'm a rebiologist. Right. See, man, the kids are smarter than they you know, used to be. I don't know what you were doing. You were five, six, ten years old. I was playing in a dirt pile in the backyard with a G.I. Joe and a lighter. Dumb. The kids are smart today. Okay, so here's the deal. I'll, I'll wrap this up. You're going to pay attention to the, to the spelling and the writing. You're also going to teach you some arithmetic. you got to learn that so you can manage your finances when you're a big rock, rock star or a doctor or a whatever, you know. you got to know how to handle your money. Ain't that right? Now, she's also going to teach you some history. That's the one. I want you to not pay attention to it. Be respectful. She's going to hand you the lesson. Go go home, do the homework. When you go home, you, you guys make me a promise? When you go home, get on the internet and discover the truth. Because the history books, they're not, they're not really truthful. You know what I mean? They say, oh, you know, Christopher Columbus discovered America. Well, he actually came over here and slaughtered all the natives. Is what he did. So that's just one example. But this is, is to get you thinking differently. You know what I mean? You got to challenge authority. You don't just take someone's word for it. Research it and find out the truth. Because the truth is sometimes very deep down. Ain't that right? Have you guys promised me that? Ladies and gentlemen, give them a hand on that. Thank you guys.